It has been a busy time for holiday travel. Hello, I'm Steve Eager. The TSA says it saw just more than 12 million passengers go through security checkpoints between Thursday and Christmas Day, and millions more are expected before the new year. Fox 4's Alex Boyer has an update as many people are working to get home. With Christmas now in the rearview mirror, it's time for millions of Americans to travel back home and get back to reality. At Dallas Love Field... So where's home? Um, Washington, D.C. We ran into the Roscoe's family. They were part of this massive line at the Southwest Airlines ticket counter. Tell me what it was like uh, getting here to the airport this morning. I see there's a line, but it seems like it's moving. It was awesome. Actually, this line was moving so fast yeah. that we were um, expecting, so it's, it's good. Her six-year-old son is eager to get back home. The real Santa gives me a message. What is it? It says he left me the presents at home. Okay, and so that's why you got to get back home. Yeah, and we got to open some presents. Nice, what's this? Oh, it's a robot. Robot, nice. The TSA says the day after Christmas is one of the busiest travel days of the year. At both Love Field and DFW Airport, there were minimal delays and flight cancellations considering the volume of traffic. Plane arrived on time, the plane left on time, so yeah. Everything went well. It was awesome. Uh, it wasn't as crowded as I thought it would be, but um, it was more crowded than what it usually is. Back at Love Field, some North Texans we talked to are headed out of town after celebrating Christmas at home. We have a second Christmas with our family in San Diego. Shannon Haidu and her daughter Harper aren't faced by the crowded airport. How do you feel traveling during the holidays? Excited. You excited? Yeah. <laughs> Dallas resident Joanne Eckert is headed to Colorado for New Year's. Santa brought a ski trip, and so we're going skiing in Breckenridge. That's not a bad gig. It's not at all. <laughs> he paid for everything. And so now here we are sitting in this very long line. Just looking forward to the, the, uh, the slope. So right? we have great attitudes. In Dallas, Alex Boyer, Fox 4 News.